everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a cute watermelon dress. This is great for Halloween, plays, or even just to wear it because it's cute. If you really want to make this dress but you don't know how to use a sewing machine, I made a video on how to use one, so I'll have a link in the description box and I'll also have an annotation right here. If you make this dress or any of the projects I've shown in my tutorials, I would love to see them, so send me your pictures on my Facebook page or you can hashtag them CraftyAmy93 on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have the links to my social networks in the description box. Thumbs up this video if you find it helpful or if you thought it was really cute. Subscribe for more crafty videos. You will need the following materials. The fabric that I use is a silky solid material, but you can use any type of fabric that fits perfectly for your dress. You will also need a dress or tank top that fits you well, preferably not stretch. First thing you want to do is draw a picture of how you want your dress to look like. Fold your pink or red fabric wrong sides together and fold your dress in half back sides together and place it on the fold of the fabric. Make sure the dress and the fabric are folded properly very neatly so you can get a precise pattern. Since this is going to be the front of the dress, trace around the front of your dress. Remember, the fabric should be wrong sides together. Pin the fabric and the dress so it doesn't move around as you're tracing. Cut half an inch around your outline for a seam allowance. Take your green fabric and fold it in half wrong sides together. Place the dress folded in half front sides together. Trace along the back of the dress since this is going to be the back of the dress. Cut half an inch extra around your outline for seam allowance. Since we only outline one side of the dress, slightly outline the other side. Place the front and back pieces wrong sides together and sew the shoulders. Fold in half an inch on the neckline and the shoulders following the outline you created. Sew the neck hole and the armholes. I'm using pink thread to sew this dress. This is how it looks inside out. Place the dress wrong sides together and sew the sides. Don't forget to backstitch the beginning and the end. Put on the dress and make a mark on the spots where you want the high and low part to be. Take a ruler and place it on the two mark points. Use it as a guideline to make a curve. Cut along the line leaving half an inch extra for seam allowance. Create another curve 3 inches above the line you created. When I got to the shorter side of the dress, I decided to add an extra 2 inches and just connected that point to the bottom of the curve. Place your white fabric on top and trace the curve you created on the pink fabric. Add half an inch extra on all four sides for seam allowance. Now cut the curve out. Fold in half an inch on the top curve and iron it so it makes the sewing process easier. Use a seam ripper and open up the sides of the dress. Only open up the amount you'll need to fit the curve. Place it on the line you drew on the dress. Pin and sew. Change your pink thread to white thread to sew the top of the curve. Mm -hmm. 
Place the dress wrong sides together and sew along the sides you opened up. Make sure you get all three layers of the fabric. Backstitch on top of the end of the stitches we seam ripped and continue down to the bottom of the dress. Fold in half an inch at the bottom of the dress, pin and sew. For the white fabric, I used white thread. For the green fabric, I used pink thread. When you're done, iron all your seams including the neck hole and the armholes so they're not puffy. Take your black felt and draw out teardrop shaped seats and cut them out. Place them along the white curve. Pin the pieces of felt to the dress and sew along the shape of the felt. To get every curve on point, lift the presser foot as often as you need to, but don't lift the presser foot at the same time as you're sewing. To get sharp curves like I just did, leave the needle down while turning your fabric. Don't forget to backstitch when you finish sewing the seed. This is how it looks like under the dress. Just in case you're wondering, my long side of the dress is 25 inches and the short side is 19 inches. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe for more fun crafty videos! Ouch!